And what up, guys? It's Patrick. Uh, we are in the kitchen again. And uh, yeah, we're on Discord as well. So you will be hearing me talking to absolutely nobody. But because it's Halloween, just imagine that it's ghosts. Um, and I'm going crazy. And yeah. <laughs> and I'm wearing a jumpsuit because I just escaped prison. And uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. But I think today we're going to make... <laughs> I think we're. I think today we're gonna to be making some Halloween themed things. <clears throat> Happy Halloween! I know it's Perp's favorite Halloween, so uh, might as well just get into it. So if I go to the tab of you, yes, we're gonna go over here. Start with the Dynamesh Sphere. Get right into it. Need to make sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, looking good. Everything's updating. If y'all can't hear me, let me know, but I think you should be able to. And I don't think you can hear the Discord people. Sorry, right, perfect. So I was thinking that we made some pot pie related things that kind of combined, <clears throat> kind of like a jack-o'-lantern face for the crust, pie crust, and then just make the innards. And uh, simple as that. Isn't that right, Raven? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So, I guess first thing we need is the bowl. <clears throat> Grab this uh, sphere here. Okay. And, uh, yeah. I think I'm just gonna get started here. Usually I start with a sphere. I'm gonna carve out the bottom half here. And maybe the top. Boom. Probably gonna mask out the bottom and top, just a poly group. We got three poly groups. We got a zebra mesh half keep groups. Actually, since it's a bowl, we're gonna also turn on Z. So we have symmetry. When we zebra mesh, all these things will be symmetrical on multiple axes. Boom. Better. <clears throat> And then when, when we add dynamic subdivision, it should look a little bit better. But we don't need the top portion here. We're going to take it. Oh my. Is that live? Okay, I was just told to save the file so far, so we're going to do that real quick. Um, let's go. Always remember to save. That's also a good thing. I always make these and never remember to save. Let's go 10, 31, 23, brush, Halloween. Manga K popular says, LOL, save the file. Wait, why is this not working? Select, copy, paste. There it is. <clears throat> now we can continue. You happy, Eva? So we're gonna okay. We're gonna select these two here, which uh, currently is one poly group, and then we're gonna auto group. Good because you want to just select this top poly. Invert the selection by holding down Control, Shift, and Drag. That will invert the selection for poly groups. <laughs> and then we're going to delete hidden. There you go. What's up, Beast? Good morning. And then we're going to add uh, a little. Thickness to this, and side is here. There we go. Wait, what? Okay. Cool. So we have a bowl here. I was debating making one of these like handles or not. 
Still debating. Herb, what do you think? Thanks, bro. Yeah. On the handle that looks like the stem of the Clear a mask. Just hold the down control and drag. And ZBrush, right? Um, and then let's see what else we need to do here. Let's go. Uh, let's make the holes in here. I would. Probably. Should we do a bull? We never do that. Let's duplicate this so we have it. Throw this into a folder. Odd bull. And then. Live going on. We're going to turn on live boolean will kind of activate those tools and then we just need a mesh to push through all this so I think we're stopping with this one let's take a sphere I like to use the move infinite depth brush to make these kind of movements to the whole thing without worrying about whether the back is being Pushed. This looks fine. Drag it out. <clears throat> Bring this underneath. Put this little arrow thing and that guy. And then Shift F. Boom. Got a couple little holes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. Now we're just gonna go to the gear icon here, and I've been directed to save the file again. So after we boolean the folder, it leave us with something like this, which looks very scary right now, but I think actually all we need the topology. <laughs> yeah, this is the topology you want. This is like amazing topology. So what you're going to want to do here is Separating these poly groups, auto groups, which I believe auto groups can be found in the poly group tab. Here, auto groups, which just separates the different geometries. So now we're only going to take the green, control shift, drag, and the bottom one. That's all we need. Delete hidden. And I believe. It'd be just as easy. Zero mesh, deep groups, half, smooth groups down to zero. Boom. Okay. Let's try that again. But with same. I think we just need a little bit more topology. A little bit better. Or a matter of fact, let's go half smooth groups up just a little bit. 
little bit more. All right, so let's take it down a little bit. Go same. Get in there. End it. Get in there. Whoa. <clears throat> Double. adaptive up we're gonna need more polygons around it. these areas it's definitely a tough uh... huh so that's gonna be like the initial problem but I think we should be good at the end of the day we have options i was just trying to see if we could get like a clean result from the get-go but worst case scenario let's just dynamic subject add thickness just like this be the problem so far actually I kind of want to go back there's something that didn't happen back here I kind of think I know when hold up I think there was something in this <laughs> okay that is exactly what I forgot to what I should have done this is a good learning experience is I'm actually gonna get rid of this go back to the boolean and the reason why or what I forgot to do is to collapse this b1 match that's why I was acting all weird so what we need to do is go back here let's just duplicate this so we have it and then go to geometry dynamics of it My Uber Eats is here. Hello. Yeah, please, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Food has arrived. We're lit. Hey, what up? What up, bro? I don't know when you said that, but how you doing? Good to have you. There you go. Okay. So now what we're going to do that we have this uh, actual mesh here is now we're going to go in folder. Which gave us a much better result right off the bat. Um, I guess it has thickness. And then now uh, we can probably turn off live we don't need that anymore. <clears throat> and from here, let's go zero mesh or half keep groups. Oops, all the way to zero. Yeah. Now, a much nicer result. Then we'll go same. It's good to me. Okay, cool. Should be fine. Now we just need to mind, uh, for the time being, add the filling, which is essentially just a lot of times I just inverse the, because we have in, inside poly groups, we just kind of use those to our advantage. Let's duplicate this. Like just the inside ones. Delete hidden. All right, we're going to chop off these ones. Mm 
Let's see, I wonder if we can. I just slice. Boom. Let me just chop off this uh, pink part here. Inverse the selection. Delete. <clears throat> and then we're gonna flip. If we go to uh, display properties, we'll flip poly groups or flip the normals rather. And then we're going to close holes. So geometry modified topology. Close holes. So we have like some sort of mass here that we can use to our advantage. Uh, and for this, I'm probably just going to uh, straight from there. So we have some kind of soup in a bowl now. And then for the inside, I like using this one brush called Thixin BTS. Let's go and select just this top poly group mask and uh, feather the mask. And we're going to make this all soupy looking. like a chowder-esque type thing here. And come time for texturing. <clears throat> Appreciate that, bro. Love your content, brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Um, and then come time to texturing. It's gonna, you know, all fall together once we have like stuff, you know, colliding, lighting, subsurface scattering, all that. Raven still here? You work today? Ooh. What time do you have to be at the office? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Got it. <clears throat> you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. there now we're just gonna uh, insert mesh brush some like ingredients in there like carrots I guess that could be the first one so let's make a carrot actually you know what let's make a whole new let's start with a cylinder here I'm gonna save again save the file hashtag Eva All right I'm going to shrink this. We're going to make a multi insert brush. Insert multi mesh. What is it called? Yeah. <clears throat> We're going to go fake poly mesh 3D. And it's important that this is in a different tool because we're going to use this to make different ingredients. Let's just go right ahead and geometry dynamesh. Uh, make this dynamesh. Grab our H polish brush. Maybe make this small. Okay, carrot. Yeah. 
They measure half, but exactly perfect. If you want, you can even do those little ones. I think it should probably, yeah. This music slaps. <clears throat> So we got the carrot. There you go. We're gonna move this here. Two pickles. Like a piece of potato or whatever that is. Now we got the chicken. Keep it simple, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. As Perp says, it is a sharp piece of chicken. Maybe a BBF. It's all flat. Basic shapes. Texturing does a lot of the work later on. That's probably fine. all on different axes. Um, what else? I guess was there was like celery in there or something. Okay. 
do a IMM primitive. What do we have to grab? Let's grab a cylinder. Oops. Make sure we're in draw mode. Insert cylinder. Hold down Alt, which will kind of delete it from this whole thing. Bring it backwards a little bit. And these are going to be like kind of soggy since they've been in there for so long. So that's why it doesn't really matter too much how this is going. to me we're gonna save this real quick because this at this point it could glitch out but we hope that won't happen yep just save. Boom, boom boom coffee i'm gonna go b <clears throat> we insert multi mesh and now we can see all of our ingredients up there and if we just go brush modifiers Multi mode two three variations. Just bump that all the way up. Another sub tool. Okay, just a random just real quick, just so we have it. Move that out of the way. Set that up. Rush depth. A little bit below. Maybe minus twenty. Now every time you do it, it should be a separate wait, why is that? Does that have to be every time. Okay. Careful. So now we can just keep dragging.
Uh, I am freelance full time, so just a bunch of different types of uh, companies and brands, not a single agency or anything. If you need to move them afterwards, BMT for move topological brush. Take your brush down to one. Since they're all on the same subject. the uh, pie crust. this sphere. Delete it. Boom. <clears throat> Add a few subdivisions. Delete lower. Mass these out. Maybe increase the mass by Control Shift X for expand. And then we got boom. Make a full mouth, first of all. by groups all right something that's okay <clears throat> and just remembering that since it is going to be baked it's not going to be perfect so i think uh, a lot of times that helps
Let's delete lower. Delete hidden. Let's move polygroups. Let's go. Now, I'm going to go BTC, enable cloth, dynamics, collision volume. Let's go firmness for self collision one. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure what we need. We're going to duplicate this while we have it. Dynamic subdiv, geometry. Okay, I've been directed to save the file again. We're saving the file. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, so we're going to apply. And we're actually going to like just the edges here. It's auto group because we only want this outer edge. Mask and invert. So right now the only thing unmasked is this outer edge. And we're going to feather. We're going to do that. We're also going to add a surface noise. Link all the way down. Pull straight up so we can kind of see what the noise looks like here. So we should be having something like that. Mask my noise. And then immediately. I'll have this like puckered edges there. And uh, now that I'm looking at it, you could probably just do the same thing with uh, all of these edges. Boom. We're going to invert. That noise just like that. Mask my noise. Just like that. That. For the most part, there's going to be a Halloween themed chicken pot pie. We used dynamics. We used, uh, you know, hard service stuff, booleans, multi mesh, insert meshes. And uh, yeah, if you want to see the texturing or when I put this into cinema and all that stuff later, hop into the Discord, which is discord.gg slash p4d. And, uh, yeah, happy Halloween, and I'm hungry after this one. Mr. J says spooky lo-fi, absolutely. So with that being said, save the file, which I'm doing right now, and we are out.